You know, Harrison and I really enjoy cooking in the kitchen, and we want you to join us. Oh, now, now. It's, it's, this is a bit of a mess. So let's have some fun. Welcome to Cooked with Shaq. to our show, our little show that teaches you how to cook somewhat for the average person. You don't have to be fancy. Just uh, have some food in front of you. Hey, take some chances. Have some fun. Have some fun in the kitchen, right? Yeah. Harrison, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Harrison James on the guitar. And uh, you know what? Um, we are working right now. All of the powers that be, mm -hmm. all the brain trust is working on a 10-year anniversary episode of Cooked with Chef. Woo! That will be coming up in the near future, but hey, yeah. you know what? Ten years, my friend. Ten, Ten years we've been doing this. Ten years. Unbelievable. Just flies by. Totally. Oh, anyway, we're looking forward to that. Okay, so tonight, we've decided we're going to do something. Uh, we're going south. We're going south on this Woo, one. Woo, all right, let's do uh, it. Uh, now, you may have seen on uh, cooking shows um, on TV, uh, you know, the different southern types of cooking that are, are really popular right now. And so we're doing something called chicken and waffles. What? Chicken and waffles. Okay, now, you've heard of this. Now, the waffles, they can be savory with no sugar in it, or you can just use what we're doing tonight, and I, I'm, I'm gonna divulge a secret, where you're using Pancake mix. Just add water. Ooh, <laughs> That's okay. fancy. So we don't, oh, either that or you can go get you know go get the uh, the waffles that rhyme with Blego. Hey, you can get those ones too in the frozen food section of right. your uh, supermarket. You can get those too. So don't worry. Just whatever waffles you get. And heck, if you don't find waffles, make a pancake. Put it on a shingle. Put it on a. Put it on a flip-flop. I don't care, but I'll tell you what, <laughs> the waffles are the way to go. So chicken and waffles. So this is what we need here today. We've got our, now, we've seen a lot of different uh, recipes that call for a bone-in chicken. Now, bone-in chicken is obviously going to uh, have more flavor because of the bone, but when you're having chicken and waffles, the last thing you want to do is try to cut into a bone and try to get a, navigate through all that and try to get all the meat off. So what we're doing is using boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Chicken thighs, you can use the breast if you want, but to me, the breast, just, I don't know, just doesn't you're have not the fan. flavor. I'm not a fan of the no, chicken breast because I can't cook a chicken breast for the life of me to try to make it moist and uh, you know you can brine it and all yeah. that stuff but why when you just go and get boneless chicken uh, thighs boneless uh, skinless chicken thighs and they've got tons of flavor right there yeah there it is and as you can see we have got uh, some apparatus at the ready ready to go here we've got our deep fryer we've got mm. our waffle maker and both are all nice and hot and ready to go. We got a frying pan ready to go. So we've got all kinds of things going on here tonight. That's a great tonight. setup you got today. So now what yeah. the whole deal is, is we're gonna have deep fried chicken, we're gonna have waffles, and then we're gonna top it off with a cream sauce gravy uh, type of thing. Ooh. But we're in that, we've got brat or sausage that we're going to saute up and then put in the the cream sauce, a little bit of cream cheese cream mm -hmm. sauce over top of all of that. Just draping over top of the chicken and the waffle. Oh, okay, let's get going here. All right, All right yeah, we gotta so get going. We wanna, we wanna start with the chicken, so we get okay. yourself, get yourself a nice Ziploc bag. Oh, chicken in the bag again. That's all. <laughs> oh, I love this little <laughs> trick that he has. I won't be tossing us around. This is, <laughs> all right, so now you gotta start off with about a cup of, uh, cup of flour. Okay. All right, now, to make it really nice and crispy, I add a little bit of cornstarch. You don't have to put that much, but I would say probably about maybe two tablespoons of cornstarch in there. Why it makes it more crispy, I have no idea, but it does. And then you can use salt and pepper. You can put in whatever kind of flavoring you want, a little bit of seasoning. I'm just using the straight up old seasoning salt, right out of the jar. That's little it. seasoning salt, yeah. Okay. Toss that in. It's about a that's about a teaspoon. Now, zip it up. Give it a flip around. Oh, Ooh, now, now. <laughs> hey. Give it a flip around, get it all incorporated. Then you take your chicken, your boneless, skinless chicken thighs. Now, what you have to do is when they, when they package them, they package them up like a little roll, okay? You have to open them up so that you can get all 
of the yeah. flour in there. So you get everything all coated nicely. So you get all that in. Toss that in there. Then zip her up. All right, Harrison, give me some right. flippity round music here. Flipping the flour, flipping the mix. Okay, so now we grab our tongity tongs. Take the lid off of your deep fryer. Now, if you don't have a deep fryer, no problem. Just get yourself a nice big deep pot. You can actually even do it in a skillet like this. This is a, uh, more or less like a, a Dutch oven type of thing, or yeah. you can uh, just a saute pan or something like that. As long as it's got high sides on it, put about maybe, fill it about uh, a third of oil and you can do the same thing. So, take our chicken, give it a little shake, and now make sure when you're putting it in, you do it nice and slow and away from you like that, because you don't want to be splashing hot oil all over your, yourself. Okay, so grab the next one, do the same thing, away from yourself. Ooh, listen to that bubbling. Yeah. Put that in there. Now don't over fill it. You don't want to put too much in. I would say six pieces is about right. After that, you don't want to over fill it because eventually that bu the bubbling might come up and uh, you don't want to overflow, especially if you're doing it in a pan. Just kind of gauge it from there. This you do not want anymore. Done, it's done, unless you have more chicken that you want to coat and put into uh, oil right away. So we're gonna let that go until it is completely cooked at about 180, 175, 180. The oil should be about 350, 375, somewhere in between there. All right, so that's going. Now, we've already got, uh, we've got the chicken happening. The waffles are coming up next. It's cooked with shack. It is chicken and waffles. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. It's <laughs> my castanets. There you go, sounding good. All right, Cook with Shaq. Welcome back. Harrison, I'm Shaq. We are doing a southern dish today called chicken and waffles. If you've ever had chicken and waffles, you get a nice white gravy. We're going to do a little bit of a spin on the white gravy, too. Okay. Now, usually you do put a sausage in there, kind of get it all nice and, uh, you know, get a little protein action on there on top of the chicken, on top of the waffle. Yeah. But we're going to do a little bit different with the sauce. So we're not going to do an what? actual roux type of gravy. We're going to do something else. But anyway, we're so, but that's what it's all about, right? That's what it's all about. It is. Just experiment. Find out different things. Do different, th if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. You know, hey, try over, try it over again. Just keep on trying it. To, just have fun in the kitchen, and that's what we're doing. We're having fun with our. Uh, hey, by the way, yeah, glad to see both of your socks are on. Uh, if you yeah. do recall, the last time we did a a, a deep fry show, uh, we found your sock in here. Yeah, I uh, I brought a second pair just in case. <laughs> okay, we're just <laughs> gonna check that chicken, make sure it's working and everything's going good. We wanted about at about 180 to interior temperature to make sure it's all nice and done and juicy still. We don't want it all dry. All right, now the waffle portion of this. As I had mentioned, do whatever you want. Go and get waffles from the grocery store in the frozen food section. If you want to make pancakes, you can do it that way too. We're doing waffles today because that's what it is. It's waffles, chicken and waffles, right? Yeah. Now, we are going to take a shortcut because I can give you the whole big waffle recipe and all that with the flour and the baking soda and the baking powder and all the eggs and all. But you know what's a lot easier? Just go get yourself a good pancake mix and add water. That's it. And it's, like, it's like we're camping. It's my kind of cooking. We're going camping. All right, so that's right. what we have. We just have a pancake mix. We've got a couple of cups there. Now, don't screw it up. Yeah, yeah see, now here's the thing is, 
you can you can go with the measurement on the box, <laughs> but I don't. I don't either. No, you know what? You know, I actually, I, I kind of add a little extra water than what they call for. Oh, do you? I okay, do. You, I like you, little, you like it a little bit uh, a little thinner. Yeah. Well, yeah, a little thinner. Okay, little thinner, well, yeah. hopefully. Uh, there was only that amount in that bowl, so hopefully I don't screw this up. So we're going to go a little at a time here. Oh, jeez. Let's go a little bit at a time. Oh, this might take a while. All right, so I think we're going to get it. Now, you want it for waffles, if you've got a, a, a mix like what we're doing here, for waffles, you want it to be a little bit more thick. Because if you put regular pancake batter in a waffle iron, you know what happens. It's running out the side, and you yeah. got waffle or batter all over your your kitchen counter. And then another thing too is you don't over mix it. If there's lumps in it, don't worry about it. Don't over mix it. We don't want it no. completely smooth. Okay, so that's what it should look like. See, you still got some lumps in there, and about that consistency. Oh, there we go. It didn't right. take too long. No, it's I thought, easy. thought maybe it, uh, the chicken would be done before that. Nothing to it. All right. Okay, so now you go to your waffle iron. If you don't have a waffle iron, ooh, you better boy. get one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to work very well if you don't have a waffle iron. <laughs> so, get a waffle iron, they're cheap. Now, another thing too, if you don't have a non-stick, I do have a non-stick, but I also like to throw a little bit of spray lube on there. All right. And then you just ladle in. Are you getting that, guys? Are you getting that over here? You got that? We're going to ladle in. <laughs> you see what we're doing? Okay, and then we just drop it down. Drop it down and, and this is where we wait. We wait. Okay, so far so good. I think I put in enough. It's not dripping on the sides. Nope, no dripping. The drippage is good. Excellent. Okay, now, see the great thing about waffle irons is that it'll tell you when it's done. When that little light pops on, it'll go boop. It'll, it's preheating, right? It preheats, right. and then once you get the batter in there, it'll go off, and then it'll come back on again once the waffle is pretty much done. And you just want it nice golden brown. That's pretty much it. All right, let's check the, uh, let's check the chicken here, see how we're going, how we're doing. So, in order to make sure where we're at, we're going digital, baby. Ooh, getting all fancy again. Yeah. All the toys. So now, this is, these are the best. I recommend the digital thermometer. Okay, this isn't for your mouth though. Don't be sticking it in your mouth. This is just for food. You could stick. Oh, see now I want to. Yeah, I know, right? Maybe after. Okay, this should be about 180. So we're gonna stick it in there. And look at that. We are at 184. We're good. We're good to go. We're gonna pull those out right now. We're just gonna let them sit. Let them sit and then all the uh, oil will just uh, drip back into the other oil and they'll be nice and crispy and away we go. All right, so we're good. We got the waffles happening. Yeah. The chicken is ready. Yeah. We're going to come back and do the sauce with the sausage. Yeah. It's cooked with Shaq. We'll see you in a bit. Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Today, what, uh, uh, just just a couple cups, you know, maybe like four, uh, 12, 12, 13, 14 cups or something like that. Well, I'll tell you what, man, after yeah. you have this tonight, you'll be sleeping like a baby <laughs> because we have got some comfort food happening. Southern comfort yes. food, as a matter of fact. We are doing chicken and waffles, and uh, we've got the chicken already done. It's been deep fried, the boneless, skinless chicken breast because you don't want bones in there. You don't want to be hassling with that when you're cutting into this great meal. You just want all that great flavor and texture. You don't want texture of bones. So do you want yeah. the boneless, skinless chicken breast? Deep fry it. We got the waffles still going here. We got a couple more happening. We've got a whole bunch of, about a quarter cup of butter going on right now. And now you're thinking, <laughs> okay, you got butter, but you got to fry up the sausage. Isn't there fat in there too? Well, there's, yeah, there's fat in here, but you want the butter because when you get into the cream sauce, you want a little bit of that creaminess, right? right. So you want a little bit of uh, milk solids in there. This so is now- the healthy addition. 
<laughs> the healthy <laughs> edition. So we're going to just drop in. Now, you can use any kind of sausage you want. You can use Italian sausage. That would be good. I like Italian sausage. You could use, yeah. it. you know, being that it is uh, waffles, and it's kind of, you know, waffles are more for breakfast, really. Mm. That's what a lot of people think about it. You could use a breakfast sausage, you know, like a, ma oh, a maple yeah. type of breakfast sausage. It'd be a little sweet in there, too. So that's okay. So now you, but what you want is you want the, the meat from the sausage. So if you can't find it, sometimes you can. Sometimes um, uh, you can get it at the butcher shop as just the meat itself. Uh, and then sometimes, oh, where am I looking here? That's what I'm looking for right there. You got um, a few spoons there. To I know from. I've got all kinds of things going, but I got this fancy thing here for meat, for hamburger and sausage and stuff. Look at that unit. Oh. That looks like something you'd see out of a Mad Max movie, wouldn't it? <laughs> so now, you just want the meat, so you can, if you can't find it, then just get the sausages and peel the casings off, okay? Now you take this thing, and you, if you just get the meat, you won't have to worry about something like this, because it'll all come up just ground for you, right? But now we want to get this, so that it's kind of chopped up, like ground beef or ground pork. But this has already got the seasonings in it already. So this is bratwurst that we're using. We're not using uh, Italian. But like I say, you can use any kind that you want. And see how that just chops everything up? That's a handy little tool. It is. It just, uh, and you know what? Uh, it was, um, I can't remember her name. But it was one of our viewers that sent it to me. Really? They saw one day, I don't know if what, wow. what, what uh, ep uh, episode it was or what recipe we're doing, but we were doing hamburger. We were, I was trying to chunk up some beef yeah. or something. And she saw, well, no, I got, I got something for you. That's so she cool. sent us this, this, and I've been using it ever since. So. so we kind of forget our name, we kind of forget the episode and what we were doing. We forget everything. But thank you. But we don't forget about this. So <laughs> you know who you are, yeah, right? You know Even you if are. we forget who you are, no. we know you know who you are. Something like that? There All you right. Are. There, yeah. there you are. So now this is just about ready to go already. See, now once you get it, it doesn't have to be browned. It just has to be cooked through. And the reason why is because it's going to be in a gravy. So it doesn't have to be all nice and browned up or anything. It just has to be nicely cooked, get the flavor going. Okay, so let's, let, let's go with that for a sec. And let's check out our waffles. Okay. No, oh, you know what I didn't do? See? You didn't? You, I no, didn't spray it. Didn't spray it. I didn't spray it. Now look. And now, now, look, look. now you got the non-stick pan. Yeah, man. well, <laughs> my non-stick is, is sticking. Yeah. So now, problems, so Jack. see, now we got an issue. Yeah. So now we have to find something is, okay, that's going to suffice. There. And uh -oh. we're gonna have to kind of stick it right in there. Uh oh. And, oh. Oh. So, oh. Well. Okay. It came. It's gone. <laughs> Just disappeared. <laughs> oh, there it is on the top. Okay. All right. So see now it's. Oh, it's a mess. Here. That's okay. okay. I, I like know. mine the on the camera guy, can you see this? Uh, it, uh, hang on, come around. Uh, it's it's, it's just, just a bit of a mess. You oh. know what? We're going to forget about it. Okay. Just say to heck with it, let it go. We got lots of waffles. <laughs> Remember to spray your waffle. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. All anyway, right. let's get this back here. Now, this is just about done. <laughs> Stupid waffle iron. You're working pretty hard. <sighs> I'm frustrated. Ooh. Okay, now here we go. I'm not proud. I'm kidding. It's all good. We're, we got lots. We're having fun. We're still having We're fun having in the lots kitchen. We're having fun in the I have kitchen. Lots of fun here. That's right. Yeah. Until your waffles stick, and then you got problems. Okay, so this is all ready to go. Again, you don't have to salt it. You don't have to do anything. Now what we're gonna do? Yes. We're gonna hit the cream. We're gonna put in. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Eh. Eh. A little. Eh. Eh. Uh-huh. Uh, uh, ooh, done. Okay. That's good, right there. Now we're gonna bring that up to a boil. Okay, we're gonna just let this go real quick. We're coming back in just a sec. It's cooked with Shaq. We're gonna try to get that waffle out, get this going. We'll be back to play it up in two seconds. See you in a bit. Save the waffle! Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. Oh, we are 
are back, cooked with Shaq. It's time to plate this up, but we got to do one more ingredient All right. in our chicken and waffles today. We've got the uh, bratwurst sausage in the cream. Look at that, just bubbling away. We want to thicken it up a little bit, but how do we thicken things up? With cream cheese. Yes. Hmm? Okay, so we're going to take our, yeah, good. Oh, well, sure, why not get as much of that in there as we can. Let's do a half a tub. <laughs> half a tub of cream cheese going in there. Best measurements. And then you just kind of get that melted in, and it'll melt nicely. And while that's happening, we've got, uh, okay, check out our waffles here. So the waffles are all good. And now you can go with a half a waffle, you can go with a full waffle, depending on how hungry you are. You can go with just the little quarter waffles. But uh, we actually rescued that waffle and managed to rescue half of it. So we're okay. We're doing okay. We're doing all right. So. Let's uh, get this all incorporated in. And what we're gonna also do is add a little bit of pepper. I wanna, cause the, the bratwurst has got seasoning and everything and that was just fine, but uh, you wanna just kick it up just a little bit with a little bit of pepper. The uh, cream cheese will also have a lot of salt in it, so we're not gonna add any salt to this one. You can add salt to it later if you think, oh, I, know, I need a little bit more salt. A little seasoning salt. Hey, you want to add dill to it? Do it. Do whatever you want. Have oh, some dill fun. This is good. this is just a basic kind of a canvas for you to just do whatever you want. See how nicely that cream cheese, once it's all melted up, how nicely that thickens everything up. Okay, and you know what? Just a taste. Just a taste of Rama, mm -hmm. and we'll see how we're at. We're at. We're good. Okay. It's ready to go. Waffle on the plate. Chicken. Let's get a couple pieces. Mm -hmm. One for each side. Then you take, find your, <laughs> with my selection of spoons. <laughs> then you take a nice big dollop. A bratwurst cream Ooh. sauce. Oh, we're going double up on this one. Wow. And you get it all over the top. Look at that. And that, my friends, is the shack version wow. of chicken and waffles. There it is. Thanks for joining us. Cooked with Shaq. Harrison, he wants to eat. See you next time. For this episode of Cooked with Shaq, we'd like to thank Ritual Rabbits for providing the music. Sponsored by Sask Pork, Saskatchewan's pork producers are committed to sustainable production of safe, healthy pork for you and your family. For recipes and more, visit saskpork.com and follow us on Twitter and Facebook.